talk about Sid. Do you got any fun, interesting Sid stories? Because I, I was a monster Sid fan. Just the intensity, the Were look. you really? Like, I, look, I was... I was a Sid fan, uh, but I was scared of him about this time. I was always real scared of him. He's very intense dude. And I thought like, well, I'll fight him if I have to, but I'd rather not. You know what I mean? He was just a big, huge guy. So one time, I forget what it was about, but downtown Bruno and, and Sid were close. And so very one time I said, hey, man, that wasn't me. You're barking up the wrong tree. And Sid got up out of his chair and came over at me and was like, what do you mean barking up the wrong tree? What does that even mean? I said, you're saying I did that, and I didn't do that, dude. So I, we were standing, like, face to face, and nothing ended up happening. But I thought, this he's going to kill me. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's going to beat me up here. Uh, but, yeah, I stayed away from Sid a little bit because, I, look, he's a different dude, as are all of us. <laughs> He's a different dude today. Like I've seen him lately and we've had great conversations and great, and it was, man, it was a different, you know, and when you're in that too, a lot of alpha males, a lot of, a lot of alpha males looking for that alpha male position in the industry and, and people are different people then, man, as you put a little wisdom and age behind them, they smarten up a little bit. And I don't mean that, I, I mean that for me as much as I mean that for anybody, you, you grow up a little bit and you wise, you smarten up, you know. Sid's WCW leg break is oh. one of the most gruesome clips I've ever seen in my life. And if you have never seen it and you like gruesome oh, clips, God. look it up. <laughs> it's yeah, not pretty. It's, it's not a pretty. shatter and a, and, and a piercing of the skin. Mm, mm. Compound <laughs> fracture. All right. Back in the States on April 24th in Omaha for Raw in the dark match, you and Jeff defeat Razor and the kid. But the match. So this is what we were just even even talking about because the oh, neck I'm injury sorry. transitions yeah. and all of that. So so what you, you kind of addressed it, but how, how, if you're in the ring and you have a situation where, you know, someone took a bad bump in yeah. a heel role when you're supposed to be just eating them up and going after them. How do you show some sort of concern? Yeah, look, I think you just show concern with your voice and not with your actions. And that's funny because you try to, you say, ref, get me back, get me back. And then your ref's holding you back and you're going, dude, are you okay? You know what I mean? Like you're, to the viewer, you look like you're trying to get around the referee and fight him some more. To, to the person in the ring, you're checking on your buddy and making sure he's all right. And that's that's all you can do, you know what I mean? And, that the, if it, and if, look, if he's really hurt, you, you pin him, one, two, three. It doesn't matter what happened creatively. It's your buddy's life we're talking yeah. about. You know what I mean? Or his health we're talking about. So, look, that happened with, uh, you know, with us when uh, Eddie Guerrero came from WCW and hit Billy with that with that flying cro or that flying spro frog splash. Frog splash. And his elbow just dislocated elbow. So, yeah, Bounce. Was, and we, and he goes, just pin me. And so I think I just pinned him, or Billy did, or something, and it screwed up the creative of the whole show. But. Who, who cares? You know what I mean? I had that the same guy's injury was... as Eddie my second match. I was taking on a six foot nine guy and I go for a Rana and he, he blocked it and slingshotted me over his head. Oh, and oh. when I hit the canvas, boom, same thing. Elbow just popped out, turned the other oh, way. Man. <laughs> Those are ugly. Look, stuff like that happens, man. It's no, uh, you know, there's no way around it. Accidents happen. You just try to take care of each other and you try to make sure each other's safe and okay throughout, you know, 